So uh, this is our concrete cylinder micrometer. Uh, we use this to measure the diameter of the concrete cylinder. So there's several parts to this. Uh, let me turn it this way. Actually, I had it right the first time. This is better. Uh, so this big black part right here, this part that I'm holding on to, that's called the anvil. The anvil, this black part. Uh, this is called the spindle, this part right here. Uh, the spindle can move in and out. I can move it in and out by turning the thimble. So this is the thimble right here. So by turning the thimble, the spindle goes in and out. Uh, I can loosen up. I can loosen up the spindle by turning this wheel. So now it's easier to turn this. Can you see this? So I turn the thimble. That moves the spindle in and out. This is called the sleeve. This part right here is called the sleeve. So sleeve, thimble, spindle. The black part is called the anvil. So uh, how do I use this to measure the diameter of a concrete cylinder? Well, I'll show you in a few moments, but take a look here at the sleeve and the thimble. It's got numbers on it. You see this? So this particular concrete micrometer reads diameters from five and a half inches to six and a half inches. And I can take the readings right here on the sleeve and the thimble. So the sleeve has a longitudinal axis with numbers on it. And the thimble has numbers on it. So how do I interpret them? Uh, well, I'm going to measure the diameter of a concrete cylinder here, and I'll explain how we read those numbers. Okay, so here's the concrete cylinder. Uh, normally, we take three measurements of the diameter, so we're looking at the top here. So I made this cylinder back in March, March of 2020. Uh, so I usually eyeball this. So I want to take uh, three measurements. I'll call this the zero degree mark. And you see that pink line? So zero degrees, and then here this can be 120 degrees. Obviously, I'm not using a protractor. I'm just eyeballing this. And this will be 240. So zero, zero, 120, 240. I'll take three diameter measurements. OK, so I'm going to take a zero degree reading. I'm going to take a zero degree reading. Uh, let me tilt this upward a little bit so that you can see it better. You can see a machine in the background there. Okay, so I'm going to put the micrometer. I'm going to put the micrometer. I'm, I'm going to pinch the concrete cylinder between the two parts of the spindle. I want the concrete cylinder to be between those two parts of the spindle. So that's what I'm doing here. Okay, and at the top of your screen, uh, maybe you can't see it, but I'm rotating the thimble so as to close the spindle and to pinch the concrete cylinder between the two parts, the two parts of the spindle. So that looks about right. So this is a zero degree measurement. Now I'm going to tighten this wheel here so as to uh, so as to keep the thimble from slipping. So now let me see what that thimble reads. The sleeve and the thimble, that's where I take my reading. So now I'm going to slip this off and take it off to the side, and I'm going to take a reading on that. Okay, the tick marks on the sleeve are 25 thousandths of an inch apart. So you see the zero there? Ooh, let me try to hold my camera steady. So you see that zero right there on the sleeve? That zero means six inches. And then you see that 12 that's on the thimble? The tick mark right here, I'm finding it. Let me use it something better to point with. Uh, I'll use this pen to point. Uh, so you see that 12 right there that's on the sleeve? That's on the thimble, I mean. Uh, the 12 that's on the thimble, you see that tick mark? Uh, that tick mark lines up with the longitudinal axis of the sleeve. So the reading here is uh, 6 inches plus another 12 thousandths. Uh, the numbers that are on the thimble uh, are in terms of a thousandth of an inch. So the 12 means 12 thousandths. So we've got 6.0 inches plus another 12 thousandths. So 6.012 inches. That's the zero degree reading at the top of this cylinder. Okay, now I want to take the 120 degree reading at the top of the cylinder. So I'm going to take my micrometer. 
and uh, can you see this? Uh, I'm going to try to pinch the concrete cylinder between the two parts of the spindle. This part here doesn't move, but this part does move. Remember that I rotate the thimble to uh, get that part of the spindle to move in and out. So I'm going to tighten this. This is my 120 degree reading. Okay, so there you have it. Now I'm going to tighten the spindle in place by turning this wheel, make it nice and tight. Now remove it, take it off, and I'm going to take a reading on this. Now let's see what this diameter says. Okay, so here it is. Uh, each of those tick marks on the sleeve, let me use this pen as a pointer, each of these tick marks on the sleeve represents 25 thousandths of an inch. Got that 25 thousandths? So you see the zero there on the sleeve? The zero on the sleeve, right there. Uh, that represents six inches. You see one tick mark beyond that, right? So that means 6.025 inches. So we're up to 6.025. And then what number do you see on the thimble? You see that seven? Let me find it with my pen. See that seven? That tick mark that is associated with the seven lines up with the longitudinal axis of the sleeve. So that means 6.025 plus another 7 thousandths. So that's 6.032 inches. 6.032 inches, that's the reading for 120 degrees at the top of this cylinder. Okay, so now let's take a reading for the 240 degree position. So I took the zero degree position, can you see this? Maybe not. Zero degrees, and then this was 120. Now 240. So I'm going to position the micrometer such that the concrete cylinder is between the two parts of the spindle. And uh, can you see this in the upper right hand corner of your screen? I'm rotating the thimble so as to pinch the cylinder between the two parts of the spindle. Uh, we'll say it's about like that. And then I'm going to tighten, tighten the spindle and therefore the thimble by turning this wheel, and now as gently as possible, take the micrometer off. I think that was somewhat gentle. And uh, now we're gonna take a reading off the sleeve and the thimble. Okay, so what does this say? I'm trying to hold my phone steady here. So the zero, the zero means six inches, and then add to that. I don't see any tick marks beyond the, the zero that you see there on the sleeve. I don't see any numbers, uh, I don't see any tick marks beyond that. So it means 6.0 inches, 6.0 inches plus another how much? You see the eight there that's on the thimble? The eight, the tick mark associated with the eight is lined up along the longitudinal axis of the sleeve. So that means six inches plus another eight thousandths. So 6.008, got it? Okay, so that is a very brief tutorial on how we use the concrete micrometer to measure the diameter of the cylinder three times. And now I would actually do this three more times, uh, about uh, somewhere mid-height. So you saw how I used the micrometer to measure the diameter three times on the top. Uh, I would then do it three more times, somewhere mid-height. So I'd go through the same song and dance, measuring it three times uh, somewhere mid-height, somewhere in here. And then I'd go through the same procedure three times at the bottom. So I take a zero reading, a 120 degree reading, and then a 240 degree reading. So uh, I take all nine of those measurements. I'd have nine different diameter measurements, three at the top, three mid-height, and three at the bottom. And I could take an average of all those. I'd find that the average is uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of six inches.